Welcome to Kent Beer Reviews. Right, today we're going down into Cornwall again. Falmouth, you know what the beer is already. From the Verdant Brewing Company, which is their headband pale ale. It's coming in at 5.5% ABV. Um, I don't know the IBUs to this beer. Um, anyway, this has got a best before March of 2017. Lovely artwork. Let me show that again. These guys have been going not very long. Um, I've, I've had a couple of cans from them. Um, I'll, I'll list the little playlist down below. Um, but yeah, 330 mil can. They're from Falmouth down in Cornwall, as I said. Uh, www. The three of them, anyway. You know what I mean. Verdantbrewing.co. I don't, I don't know. I'll, I'll find out the link for sure, and anyway, I'll put it down below. But um, I assume it's .co.uk or .com. So not not .co. Um, so yeah. Um, I don't really want to go into the tasting notes. So let's crack this open. 330 mil can. Can't remember where I purchased this from, as per usual. So apologies to the outlet I got this beer from. Yeah, the, the couple of cans I've had, and I've had the um, the light bulb in can and on draft, and that was a lovely little beer. Um, and the pulp, well, that speaks for itself. That was a beautiful beer. This one is pouring out a one finger, real kind of frothy head. It's got kind of a slightly dark orange to the beer, cloudy, can't see much through it. You can see the carbonation when I put it up to the light and then I can see the other part, the other side of the glass, through the glass. But if I'm looking at it normally it's, it's a little bit hazy, so it's getting an aroma then. Real citrusy notes. Almost like there's a slight malty, not not like a caramel malt. It's not it's not a massively malty beer though. Passion fruit, maybe some light stone fruits, peaches, that kind of thing. Real kind of fruity beer, for sure. Slightly almost dank, but yeah, a real kind of deep aroma of real condensed juicy mixture of fruits slightly more biscuity on the malts as well as a slight kind of sweet caramel very slight though very minimal yeah it's all about the fruits and definitely passion fruit in this yeah really nice let's give it a whirl anyway cheers Oh, definitely picking up a, a kind of a, a passion fruit kick to the beer. I've just had a passion fruit um, wheat beer, so and now on the back of the palate, it's, it's got a slight kind of pine edge to the beer, only very slightly. It's not, it's not, it's only a five point five percent beer, but it's got bags of flavour for sure. Mm. Nice. They must have potentially done a bit of dry hopping to this beer. As I said, I don't know the hop varieties in this beer, but yeah, it's definitely one of up my street. A nice session beer, 5.5 people. Some people might say, "Wow, that's that's getting too strong for a session beer." When they taste like this, you forget about the ABV. You're not really picking up much of an ABV in the beer. So yeah, you, you could you could really session this beer. Definitely a slight dankness, slight pininess, very slight. It's not an IPA. Um, it's, it's a real juicy parallel. Pull the rest of this in, see if it clouds up anymore. I'll get hold of the grass properly. Oh, yeah, look at that can condition as well. There is some chunky monkeys or junk in the trunk or whatever you want to call it sediment in the can so can condition look at these things here look at that 
nothing wrong with that don't be alarmed um, if you don't want that in your beers then just pour it very gently take your time doing it and then all that stuff muddy river stuff will can stay in the can, in the can but to me a lot of the flavour comes from that it latches onto that I think um, and it's definitely clouded the beer I can't even see through the light now or the other side of the glass looking at the light so it's really murked it up let's see if it's changed the taste Yeah, slightly more chalky but the flavours are there it's not quite so sharp on the flavour of fruits now it's more of a kind of a rounded mouth feel um, similarly what, what, it's got a very similar kind of mouth feel that you get um, I don't know if this beer is brewed with oats um, but that chalkiness that when you, you throw the, um, the sediment in Sometimes it, 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 it gives, gives me that impression that the oats and sediment are, are very kind of similar. It gives it a more kind of rounded mouthfeel. Uh, let's have a look. Glowing orange in colour. Mm, it's a little bit dark, I thought, but a beautifully balanced beer uh, where the pale crystal and Munich malts really help amplify the juicy hop qualities. Layers of flavour, tropical fruit, citrus fruit, uh, stinky cheese, mm. caramel, all work together. Bitter and sweet, lush. It's a very well balanced beer. I'm not particularly picking up a lot of bitterness. There's a little bit there before I put the last part of the, the can in. Um, ingredients are water, malted barley, oats. It's got oats in it. I didn't know that. Hops and yeast. So it definitely comes through. I mean, looking at the beer as well, being that cloudy, I'm not surprised. I've had it on obviously a few IPAs this year, and it's going down that kind of um, Boston, Massachusetts route, hazy IPA, and a lot of them are brewed. They seem to be a lot more of them brewed now with oats. So anyway, I'm gassing a little bit. Um, any other information? No, that's it. Uh, Verdant Brewing Co is a small batch brewing company based in Cornwall. We brew juicy, hoppy, unfiltered, hazy beers. Drink fresh. So, one more sip then a rating. It's a good beer. It's quite nice. It's quite enjoying it. The more I'm drinking it, the more I'm enjoying it. Um, I want to give that... I think that's worthy of 8.5 out of 10. When I first tried it, I thought it was a certainty for an 8, but it's, it's getting better. Maybe in half an hour it could be a nine. It's one of them kind of beers that it develops. It's been out of the fridge, it's not been in the fridge, so I'm getting the full kind of flavour profile on the palate. Um, have a look at ratings. I'm only going to do untapped. Um, so this has had 1,449 ratings, and it's coming out a little bit lower than what I'm saying. It's coming out a 3.91. So it, it, it's a shade under four caps out of five for untapped. I'm giving it, if I was giving it a rating, it would be a 4.52. So that's, that works about eight and a half out of ten. But yeah, it's definitely an A beer. If it was out of 100, it would probably be, yeah, a 92.5 or 90, 92, 93, something like that. But yeah, so let me know if you've had this beer from the Verdant Brewing Company. It's their headband parallel. Look at that can. Vibrancy. 5.5% ABV. Let us know. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It'd be great if you could. I really do appreciate it. And I try and get to every comment and stuff. Um, incidentally, I'm viewing this, reviewing this beer on the 27th of January. 27th of February. Thanks for watching then. And I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.